Well, have you been watching the Boston Dynamics videos? Yes. Oh, my God. Those yes, robots, trying to get those man. guys in here. <laughs> oh, yeah, I bet. I mean, that, the, the amount of progress they've made in five years is just absolutely staggering. I bet they smell like sulfur and they don't even know yeah. it. I bet you bring them in here like, what the fuck is going on? These guys are doomed. Well, yeah. well, Elon Musk was on the podcast talking about some new development they're working on called Neuralink. And that this is some radical new way of accentuating bandwidth between human beings and information and yeah. just increasing the access to it. And he was very vague about it. Yeah. He, he said it was going to come out within, you know, X amount of months. Yeah, well, they've already, you know, there are scientists who've already managed direct brain to computer links, right? Yes. So they can get monkeys, for example, to move a robotic arm. Mm -hmm. And so, and I suspect that, you know, you're... You can, you can learn to control single neurons in your face. My suspicions are that we'll be able to develop technologies that'll be wearable, that won't have to be neural implants, that you'll be able to communicate with neurally, and that yeah. that's not very far down the road. And the, uh, you know, the, the probability that we're going to build, you know, you know about, uh, what's his name, Kurzweil's idea, the singularity, you know, yes. the, well... It's a wild idea, and it seems somewhat improbable. And I had a friend who once told me that if something's impossible, then it won't happen. You know, there'll be something that will come up to stop it that you won't expect. And maybe the singularity is one of those things. But, you know, I know a lot of guys who are in the high-end co computational world, and a lot of them are convinced that we're within a decade of a machine that's as powerful as a human brain. And I know people have been saying that for a long time, but Jesus, you know, computers are getting good at emotion recognition. They're getting really good at facial recognition. They can communicate with one another. They can imitate. Those Boston Dynamic robots are pretty damn impressive, and they're mostly autonomous. Uh, we've got all sorts of things that can navigate on their own, like these autonomous cars. Like, all these things are, they're coming together real fast. Have so, you ever watched Black Mirror on Netflix? The only one I watched was the one that outlined what the Chinese are now doing to their own people. Oh, yeah, the CRISPR one. Yeah. yeah. No, no, the one where everything you do is rated oh, and tracked. Oh, right, the social network one. Right, mm -hmm. right, right. Yes, which, yeah. which is quite frightening and reasonably probable. Oh, 100% probable. Um, I was talking about the one, it's, I think it's called Heavy Metal. It's about uh, autonomous robots that seek out people and kill them. And you know, these uh, artificial intelligence people that are making these Boston Dynamic robots. And, you know, the, the scariest one that I read about was a, a DARPA one called the Eater Robot, E-A-T-R. Um, it operates on, it uses as a fuel, it uses biological material as fuel. Which means if you're this kidding, thing, no, you're kidding. No, I'm not Jesus kidding. Jesus e -A -T -R. Christ. So this is going to be able to eat dead bodies in the field theoretically and use it as fuel oh, to continue good. to kill people. Oh good, people. oh good. That sounds like a fine thing to develop. Just mm. fucking imagine uh, mm. an army of robotic armed artificially intelligent things corpse eaters that eat corpses in order to have fuel to continue to kill well, more people. Well, someone's obviously imagining that. It's it's made. Mm. I mean, this is a real thing. Yeah, well, I mean, part of the reason that I'm doing what I'm doing with regards to these lectures is, you know, I think that we're in a time of unparalleled possibility. Yes. Right? So for good and for, and for evil. And that the more people that there are out there who have their acts together, the better the probability that we're going to be able to manage it. Because we've all got some pretty hard decisions to make coming up real fast. You know, and these guys that are working on these AI systems, I'm hoping that the ones that are more ethically oriented in a proper direction will be the ones that have the upper hand. I'm really hoping that.